Hello everyone. Today uh, I'm going to show you how to um, put root motion or use root motion on your characters in Unreal Engine. So I'm going to show you how to do root motion from Blender to Unreal. And okay, so what you need to begin with is a character like I have here. I have my elephant and uh, I'm just going to hit my side view here. Now, uh, root motion, it took me a little while to figure this out for Unreal. Normally, uh, I would, I would, I won't say everyone, uh, I would create a root bone, okay? And that's what my center bone here is on the ground. And that would control my root motion, at least in Unity, okay? It kind of automatically but in unity you can kind of choose uh, which bone is your root motion um, in unreal you can also choose I'm pretty sure uh, e e within a blueprint or whatever but inherently the way it works inherently in unreal is a, a little bit different than unity so I'm going to go over that so instead of animating this root bone that I've that I've created before I'm going to step out now this is my run animation we can play this run so this is my run animation for the elephant and I'm gonna go back to my first frame and then I'm going to go out of pose mode and go into object mode but I'm still gonna be selected on this rig here but in object mode then I'm going to hit I on my keyboard and I'm going to create a keyframe right there with it so and if you look at your dope sheet or um, action editor you'll see object transforms okay so that's rig is now an object and we're animating it as an object now okay so now that i have my first frame already set and it's set on the zero position now i can start stepping through the animation and moving uh this to be root motion to have some motion in it now uh, as i move one frame over this is not a very long animation so what i'm i'm just going to go frame by frame with it um, it's kind of a slow process, but you guys will get um, to see me do it. So right there, that first step, what I'm doing is I'm eyeing one of the feet and I'm looking where they are on frame one and then looking where they should be on frame two. Okay, so now I'm going to move this whole rig to make up for that difference. So right there was pretty good but I'm gonna watch this foot so it doesn't move next frame it's way back here so I need to bring it right up to here that looks pretty good and you kinda have to watch the front and back hopefully the animation is made in a way that the front and back are moving <laughs> the same distance so now I'm gonna move another frame and set that one so another frame, set that one, just like that. I don't know, I might have to adjust that front foot because I'm going off the back foot right now. And many times when you make animation, you don't always um, have the front and back feet perfectly matched. Okay, so now that this foot is coming up, I need to use the other foot that's coming down. Okay, so I still, I kind of, you kind of have to guess on this frame though. See what looks right. That looks like it flows pretty good. So now I have to look at the front leg and start moving from there. So right there.
And if you're not going frame by frame, then you probably want to adjust your interpolation between these frames. I went a little too far there. And then there. And there. And there. So this this can go pretty quickly here. Okay. Okay. That looks about right. And then there. A little bit more. And oops. All right. So that is a run with root motion. And it looks to be pretty good. You don't want to see what you don't want to see is a lot of sliding of the feet. They should be planted just like they would be in the real world. So what I'm going to do real quickly is I see a little bit of sliding in the front feet. So let's see what's going on here. So this front foot needs to come back a little. Right. And then back a little more back a little more something like a run only you know might only be like 20 frames 25 frames so I don't mind kind of going frame by frame with these, with this, with a run animation. Okay, I'm kind of going backwards there. Got it. If I just look at it from above, I, I think it looks pretty good. But that's kind of the basics of doing root motion. And then uh, we can go back to the first frame. Always make sure you go back to the first frame before you move to another animation because you won't be uh, in the correct position if you don't. So now that we have all of that done, now we can export our character and it's gonna have um, root motion. Uh, real quickly before I end this video, uh, I, don't, I don't really feel like I need to show you guys in Unreal because it will work. Um, but I'm gonna show you how I export real quick. Now, um, before you export anything and when you initially set up your project, especially with a rig, you want to have your scale at one. Always have your scale at one when you're exporting. Same thing goes for the object or the elephant here. It has a scale of one. All right, so I have the elephant selected. I'm going to select the rig and then I'm going to export, export FBX. 
and I'm going to hit selected. Um, I'm going to use apply transforms. I'm going to uncheck units. Uh, I usually go down to geometry and I use edge there. And armature does not need leaf bones. You could do only transforms depending on your rig. Um, you know what? I'll do that. Uh, and I always uncheck NLA. And that's how I export all of my characters for Unreal Engine. All right. Uh, I think that's it for today. Have a good one, everyone.